final hour. Yeah, uh, uh, I've come to expect this from Nikki Ketzberg. After the race in Puerto Mayao, the race at Spa, it's hard for an old man's heart to watch Nikki Ketzberg uh, in these races like this. But uh, uh, we've had a, a, a really crazy race, lots of ups and downs, so much drama. Uh, you know, with the weather and, uh, you know, it, just all over the place. I, I'm really grateful to be where we are right now. Uh, and, uh, you know, 30 minutes left to go, fingers crossed. Uh, and, uh, yeah, there's a lot of emotion, you know, tied behind all of this. So, we'll see. There is a lot of emotion. I can feel it and see it. Um... And we were worried that we weren't going to be seeing you again, but you're just telling me now that you do intend to come back for Le Mans next year. It's my hope. Uh, yeah, I would really love to run in the Pro-Am class of LMP2. I run LMP2 in IMSA, uh, and because I did a full season of WEC, I did not use my automatic entry for LMP2 before. Uh, so uh, I'm hopeful that uh, they'll have me back uh, to run in an LMP2 car. Uh, I would love to do Le Mans for a tenth time in a row in nine different cars. That would be fun. That would be some record, and I think if anyone can do it, you can. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Uh, so enthusiastic, Ben Keating. Yeah, yeah, a tenth Le Mans entry in nine different kinds of cars, and in two different classes as well, GTM and then NFP2 for But... Right now, let's hope that if they end up in uh, about an hour's time standing on the podium as Victor Victor's in GTM this time, he gets to keep the trophy. Well, the double winner, uh, because 2022, of course, won the Tier Sports in the Aston Martin. But the remarkable thing about that uh, that figure, the uh, nine different cars who makes it back is, he has the ideal opportunity if he can get a, a drive in Orica uh, 07, because remarkably, this dominant car in LMP2 once he races it and wins in it in North America, he's never raced one here. So the door is open for that. Yeah, Ben Keating's really been, uh, he's had such a solid performance here. Brilliant in qualifying, as I said earlier on. And uh, I think the thing that I'm most impressed by, not just with his efforts, but the whole team was that never give up attitude. They had problems with the uh, suspension earlier on in the race, and uh, they just put their foot down, got on with the job. Uh, ben, particularly, you know, brilliant effort to uh, to get that car right back up to the sharp end to lead this race as into the pit lane comes to car 51 with 5% energy remaining. You can see on the left hand side of your screen there. Yeah. Inside the final 25 minutes, uh, good thought from my buddy Ken Childs watching in Durham, North Carolina. Would it be the second? Time only a garage 56 entry has finished them on. If the number 24 car finishes, Sydney Metro car 34 in the Sydney area under investigation. That's waving the bit of plastic out because they didn't have any radio. Uh, the answer is uh, Frederick Sose finished, and I think yeah. is quite as a finisher. Yes, he was. Yeah. Uh, uh, I think the academy car I put together finished. I'll check that. Okay, in which case, possibly the third. Now, you can see that all the pit boards are on sort of swivelly arm things, so they swivel out of the way, and that's a, presumably a safety rule. Uh, you don't normally have somebody holding a pit board out anymore. And uh, you saw the 34 team making a big plastic sort of main card from the top of the garage.